In this video, we are going to walk through how to use this formula and what it means. Um, it is finding a monthly payment on any kind of a loan. An amortized loan basically means you're earning interest every, well, the, the amount that you owe is earning interest and then you pay it down and then there's interest and you pay it down. And then you're always paying down more um, than the interest is accruing. So it's basically how do you figure out um, how much do you pay on an auto loan, on your student loan, on uh, a mortgage, on a home loan? Um, all of those formulas, all of those situations, anything associated with the loan that you're paying it down over time, the formula looks like this. Um, and there's a little negative on here, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but um, so this is the formula. I'm going to kind of walk through how to throw this into the calculator. And then a second video is we're going to show that there's an app on the calculator where if you just know this information, you can just plug it right into the calculator and it's going to calculate it for you. So it's already programmed with this calculator, with this uh, formula. So if we're doing the calculator, we're gonna make sure that we have all of our pieces. Okay, so P represents principal, that's your initial amount of your loan. R is representing your interest rate per month. That's the big difference than just a rate for a whole year. Um, so that formula needs a very specific R. And then your N represents your total number of months. Okay, so if you have a five-year loan and you're paying it monthly, that's 60 payments total. Okay, so um, let's start to kind of pick at our pieces here. It says we're finding a monthly payment for 25 year um, mortgage. So it's a loan on a home. And we are borrowing 135,900 at 4% interest. So our principal is the 135,900. All right, and then we need a, an R, a rate, it says that it's 4%. However, that's per year and we need it per month. Okay, so it's, 0 0.04 going to be divided by 12. And if you throw that into the calculator, unfortunately we get 0, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 on forever. So I'm going to try to be as accurate as possible and I'm not just going to take two. I'm going to take um, maybe five of these just to keep it as accurate as I possibly can. All right, because um, the actual calculators and programs and stuff are going to use more than that. So. We want to get it to the nearest, to the closest penny as we possibly can. And then uh, an N, N is your total number of months. We are doing 25 years, but we are paying it every month. So if you multiply those two together, we're looking at a total of 300 payments. All right, so our monthly payments for our mortgage is going to be 135,900 times our rate, which is the point zero zero one two three four five divided by now you're gonna have a lot of parentheses here one minus one plus that same rate zero zero three 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 and then this one has your negative three hundred for your exponent negative n and then you're gonna to need to close that. Now, we're gonna to have to use a lot of parentheses on this to make sure that we're doing this properly. Um, so I'm gonna add in this extra parenthesis just for the denominator. Okay, so it's gonna to need to tell, just to kind of help clarify what's going on. Then I'll show you that if you have another feature on your calculator, we can make this a little bit easier. So let's go through all the pieces on here. Um, so we have, we'll start off with 135,900. Parenthesis. So that represents the big parenthesis, and you'll start to see this get a little bit bigger as we go. So our rate of 0 0.003333 divided by. So now we're going to have the denominator having its own set of parentheses. So parenthesis one minus inner parenthesis um, one plus 0 0.003333. All right, and then we'll close that parenthesis raise it to the negative 300 power, okay, come off of that, and then close the denominator's parenthesis, and then close the whole parenthesis. All right, so that's a lot. And, but this thing will calculate it for us perfectly. So our monthly payment is gonna be $717.33. All right, so there is, 
a little bit of a nicer feature if you have a little bit of a newer calculator or an updated one that right in this little F1, so if I hit the green button and then this F1, I can go to a fraction. That'll make things a little bit nicer, uh, but I do need my 135,900, and then I can do 0 0.001234. And then I can do one minus parenthesis. It'll look more like that. Um, plus, oops, plus point one two one two three four five. And then raise to the negative three hundred. And then I can come off the fraction. So what I missed was um, I missed the parenthesis on this thing. So I'd have to insert a parenthesis and off to the end and then parenthesis. There we go. All right, so that's gonna calculate and get us the exact same thing. Okay, so if you have that feature, I absolutely would use it because it's just such a cleaner feel. I don't have to do all these parentheses within parentheses. It looks like how I would write it down. So it's a little bit nicer. So if you have it, I would definitely use it. All right, and then I'm gonna do another video to show you how you can use this apps button and this will um, be the fastest route. You just got to know what you're plugging into.